The murder of Cecil the Lion sparked international outrage, but the illegal ivory trade has endangered African elephants at a tipping point, and the blood money is funding militants and terrorists. Investigative journalist Brian Christie follows ivory's bloody trail to the doorsteps of Africa's worst extremists in the September issue of National Geographic magazine and also in the new film Explore Warlords of Ivory. He joins us now with the story. Brian, good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. So National Geographic is bringing back this acclaimed documentary series, Explorer. Talk a little bit about what we can expect. I know it's a kind of an in-depth look at, at the really devastating effects of uh, the global illegal ivory trade, right? Exactly. Yeah, as you described, the elephant is under siege in Africa, 30,000 elephants being killed in a year, and it's just heartbreaking. And we wanted to do something about that. Um, you know, you can be overwhelmed with just this all of this killing. We wanted to take the fight to the enemy. So we, we designed a project over a couple of years uh, to go after uh, the terrorist groups who are funding themselves using ivory. And that's the story we tell in the magazine and the show. Yeah, it really is devastating. Uh, explain to everyone how you followed the trail and how you used an artificial test to kind of uh, help you track this and, and get the facts with the story. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so I'm not a uh, biologist. I'm a lawyer by training. And, and when I was looking at these criminal organizations trafficking ivory, I said, you know, how would I address this if this were drugs, if this were cocaine? If it were cocaine, I'd put a tracker inside a cocaine shipment or in the money and see where it went. And so I did the same thing with ivory. We had one of the world's best taxidermists build us a perfect replica tusk. And then I had an engineer build me a satellite-based GPS system that we embedded inside that tusk. And we injected it into the criminal network in Central Africa and watched it move across Africa. It really fascinating. I mean, and sad at the same time because for us it's kind of out of sight, out of mind with what's really going on. So I'm really happy you're bringing light to this story. Uh, and uh, thousands of them are being killed, you said. Why is it that they are being killed? You know, why? So the, the big the big uh, sort of engine behind the killing happening in Africa is the Chinese economy. China has a long history of ivory, uh, of buying carved ivory, but until recently their economy has been so poor that they haven't been able to afford it. Now with the boom in China, uh, you're having people want to buy these sculptures that they've known for centuries there. And so they're carving ivory into sculptures that are selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. Well, and with that said, uh, what can we do? I mean, is there anything that we can do to kind of contribute to help uh, save the lives of them? Anything we can do from home, you know, watching your story? Yeah, you know, it's amazing, but um, sitting at home, Americans have a very important role to play in this. Sharing this story, I mean, what you'll see in the magazine story and on the TV show is this link between terrorist organizations and ivory. And sharing that story eventually reaches the political uh, government leaders that, that are uh, engaged with China and with African leaders. And, and we're already seeing big changes because these stories are being shared. So, so it sounds simple, but it's really important. Well, a simple change or a small change uh, that we can all take part in at home can truly make a big difference. So I hope everybody tunes into this and shares this story, as you mentioned. Uh, it did premiere last night, so I encourage everyone to pick up uh, an, uh, an edition of the September National Geographic story, the magazine. You can get the full story right there if you did happen to miss the premiere last night. So for more information, go to natgeo.com. And uh, again, I'm really looking forward to seeing this investigative journalism, Brian. And we, we thank you so much for taking the time Stephanie, to do this story and share it with us. We're going to have more on our website, fox4morningblend.com.